Hi guys, today we will see some new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth gameplay. Get ready to embark on an epic journey like never before in the highly anticipated game, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This thrilling installment received another significant showcase during the September 2023 PlayStation State of Play event, leaving fans on the edge of their seats. Scheduled for launch on February 29, 2024, this game promises to take us on an unforgettable adventure filled with new experiences and old friends. In this second part of what is shaping up to be a trilogy, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth expands its horizons, offering players a deeper dive into the iconic world of Final Fantasy. Locations such as the Gold Saucer make a glorious return, along with the introduction of new characters and the reacquaintance with familiar faces. Prepare to immerse yourself in a plethora of mini-games as you journey alongside Cloud and his comrades. While the extent to which Final Fantasy VII Rebirth follows the original storyline remains a mystery, speculation runs rampant with each glimpse into the game. With every extended look we receive, fresh excitement emerges, making it one of the most highly anticipated PS5 games of the coming year. So, let's dive into everything we know about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth so far. Release date and platforms. The official release date for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has been confirmed as February 29, 2024, as unveiled during the PlayStation State of Play event in September 2023. The game is set to be a PS5 exclusive, with Square Enix focusing its efforts on the new generation of gaming consoles. While a PC release has not been confirmed yet, the success of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate on Steam gives hope for a PC version in the future. As for Xbox platforms, there is no definitive answer yet. Currently, Final Fantasy VII Remake and its sequel, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, remain PlayStation exclusives. However, with Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate making its way to PC, the possibility of an Xbox Series X port has improved, especially considering the release of Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion on Xbox platforms, gameplay and features. We've had the privilege of glimpsing significant gameplay from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth since its initial announcement. Summer Game Fest 2023 and the September 2023 State of Play Showcase showcased Cloud and his companions navigating more open environments and enjoying the iconic minigames at the Gold Saucer. The latest gameplay trailer showcased Cloud riding a chocobo, participating in races, and even using a Segway. Square Enix has promised nearly 100 hours of adventure in this sequel, promising an expansive experience. The gameplay trailers have revealed a dynamic blend of real-time action and commands, showcasing Cloud's battles against various creatures. The return of beloved party members such as Barret, Tifa, and Aerith, along with the addition of Red 13, adds depth to the game's combat dynamics. Director Naoki Hamaguchi shared insights into Red 13's unique revenge gauge mechanic, which charges when he guards against enemy attacks, enabling the use of various abilities in battle. Furthermore, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth introduces new synergy moves in its battle system. These synergy commands and abilities can be used freely, enhancing the bonds and relationships between characters. Additionally, the game incorporates skill trees as a new element of character growth, along with expanded materia and abilities. Visual Enhancements The first Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer, though only 1 minute and 34 seconds long, left fans eagerly anticipating what Square Enix has in store. The glimpse into this highly anticipated sequel reveals Cloud and Sephiroth exploring familiar areas as they venture beyond Midgar into the wider world. The power of the PS5 is leveraged to provide an upgraded visual style, promising a visually stunning RPG adventure. Storyline and Accessibility If you're a fan of both the 1997 original and the 2020 Final Fantasy VII Remake, you'll know that these two games have distinctly different storylines. Square Enix reimagined the original's framework for a new generation of players, keeping fans guessing about what lies ahead in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This sequel directly continues from where Integrade left off, with Cloud arriving in the village of Calm and Zack searching for Aerith in the Sector 5 church. Remarkably, creative director Tetsuya Nomura assures us that playing the original games is not a prerequisite to enjoy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The game is designed to be accessible and enjoyable for both newcomers and longtime fans. The latest gameplay trailer from the Summer Game Fest hints at Sephiroth's continued presence and introduces the concept of the life stream, the essence of the world linked to Sephiroth. Mysterious hooded figures make appearances, raising questions about the game's direction and narrative. Interestingly, the September State of Play trailer hints at a famous scene involving Aerith, suggesting a faithful nod to the original game. Development Insights The development of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has been a long and eagerly awaited journey. Square Enix initiated this project even before concluding production on the 2020 Final Fantasy remake for the PS4. Producer Yoshinori Kaidas acknowledges the three-year wake but reassures fans that development is progressing rapidly for this ambitious title. 
Creative director Tetsuya Nomura emphasizes that the development structure of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is unique, with every aspect intricately interconnected from the outset. Game director Naoki Hamaguchi adds that development is in full swing, with the team working tirelessly to craft a masterpiece. In conclusion, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is shaping up to be a monumental release in the world of gaming, with its expansive gameplay, enhanced visuals, and an engaging storyline that appeals to both newcomers and longtime fans. It's a game that will undoubtedly captivate players when it launches on February 29, 2024. Stay tuned for more updates and be prepared to embark on an unforgettable adventure with Cloud and his companions. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> この先がジュノンいや、要塞都市の下に小さな村がある。バンダルジュノン。進路の潮寄せは、他に。<笑><笑>